today's topic is about inhibitor of atp synthesis and this inhibitor of atp synthesis is broadly categorized in a three group one that is inhibitor of electron transport chain second that is inhibitor of oxidative phosphorylation and th third one that is uncoupler so basically oxidative phosphorylation that is coupled reaction and that is needed for the atp synthesis so in detail we will look but before detail just overview about that electron transport chain and this oxidation which is called a electron transport chain and which is coupled with the phosphorylation so combinedly called a oxidative phosphorylation so here electron transport chain complex 1 which is transferring electron from NADH to the coenzyme Q complex 2 succinate to FADH to the coenzyme Q coenzyme Q to the cytochrome C electron transfer with the help of complex 3 cytochrome C lastly transfer electron to the oxygen with the help of complex 4 and all these electron transport that is coupled with the phosphorylation and that phosphorylation will occur with the help of complex 5 or ATP synthase now in detail complex 1 that is inhibited by the pyrrhicidine and amobarbitol as well as rotenone so these three are able to inhibit this complex 1 so that electron is not able to transport it from complex 1 to the coenzyme Q second one that is complex 2 to the coenzyme Q that is inhibited by the carboxyne carboxyne is able to inhibit transfer of electron from FAD to the coenzyme Q. Apart from that, succinate to fumarate and during that time, particular FADH2 is generated which is closely related complex 2 reaction. And this succinate to fumarate that is a common reaction with the TCA cycle. So this reaction already we have seen that is also inhibited by the malonate that is competitive inhibition of this succinate and myelonate which is structurally similar. So competitive inhibition of this succinate dehydrogenase so that is also able to inhibit this electron transport chain. Further, complex 3 is inhibited by the British anti-lewicide that is BAL as well as anti-mycin A. So that is inhibiting transfer of electron from coenzyme Q to the cytochrome C. Further, complex 4 that is inhibited by the, you can remember that one word that is HCC. H means hydrogen sulfide, C means carbon monoxide, again C means cyanide. Apart from that one azide. So azide, hydrogen sulfide, carbon monoxide and cyanide that is able to inhibit last complex of electron transport chain that is complex 4 that is cytochrome oxidase. So these are the site specific inhibitor. Further there is an uncoupler or particular inhibitor of the electron oxidative phosphorylation that is able to inhibit they are allowed to occur this oxidation but it is not allowing to do phosphorylation apart from that one more particular inhibitor that is oligomycin that already we have seen that fo portion of the complex 5 fo o means oligomycin so this name is given because that molecule is inhibited by the oligomycin chemical so this oligomycin that is also a one type of the inhibitor now in detail of this site specific inhibitor of electron transport chain so first one site one complex one to the coenzyme q so specific inhibitor like alkyl gunites hypotensive drug as well as rotenone insecticide feast poison sedative barbiturates or amobarbitol as well as chlorpromazine tranquilizer as well as pyrrhicidine that is all combinedly or individually that can inhibit the site one complex one to the coenzyme q electron transfer so that you have to remember particularly that rotenone alkyl gunite as well as barbiturate and chlorpromazine that is frequently asked in a mcq also second site specific that is site between complex 2 to the coenzyme q here two bracket is there one that is inhibitor in between succinate to fadh2 second that is inhibitor in between this fadh to the coenzyme q or complex 2 to the coenzyme q so carboxyne particularly inhibit transfer of iron from fadh2 to the coenzyme q while malonate that is competitive inhibitor of succinate dehydrogenase that already we have discussed in a tca cycle also one more that is site 3 that is inhibitor of transfer of electron between complex 3 to the cytochrome c so british anti-lewicide dimercaprol antidote of war gas naphthoquinone as well as antimycin these all are work as a particular site 3 inhibitor or in between site complex 3 to the cytochrome c further site 4 inhibitor or complex 4 inhibitor cyanide azide carbon monoxide as well as hydrogen sulfide you can remember hcc h means hydrogen sulfide carbon monoxide and cyanide as well as azide so these four are particular site 1 site 2 site 3 and site 4 specific inhibitor now inhibitor of oxidative phosphorylation so this attractylocyte and bone crackic acid 
they are inhibiting this atp adp translocase this atp adp translocase is for the particular inner mitochondrial membrane inner mitochondrial membrane is very selective for the permeability so atp that can cross the membrane but in the exchange of adp and that is possible with the help of atp adp translocase which is present over the inner mitochondrial membrane and that translocase system is inhibited by the attract tylosite and bone cracic acid so if this mechanism of atp adp exchange will not occur over the electron mit inner inner mitochondrial membrane then what happen this oxidative phosphorylation will be inhibited so oligomycin that is another one inhibit flow of proton from fo fo means one of the important component of the complex 5 or atp synthase fo why o is given because that fo portion that is inhibited by the oligomycin now cyanide that is also a particular inhibitor of oxidative phosphorylation exactly how it is working that we will look so acute ingestion of this cyanide can lead to convulsion coma and death as well as low amount of this cyanide is taken then it can lead to the breathlessness dizziness numbness and headache so uneasiness will be filled by that particular person if cyanide is present in a low amount it sign basically this cyanide binds to the fe plus 3 ion in heme of cytochrome a a3 which is a component of the cytochrome c oxidase or the complex 4 so it can occur in nitroprusside infusion also but in which condition a person having a kidney or liver dysfunction so person have a kidney and liver dysfunction and nitroprusside is given then this cyanide poisoning can be possible already we have seen a site specific inhibitor that is cyanide in a complex 4 so these all a particular inhibitor of the oxidative phosphorylation now in continuation of this oxidative phosphorylation inhibitor ionophores are lipid soluble compound that chemical increase the permeability of lipid bilayer to the certain ion so when this molecule is present the permeability of particular lipid bilayer so particularly of a inner mitochondrial membrane will be increased so what happen there are two type of ionophores so first one that is mobile ion carrier so they are example is valinomycin and channel former that is gramicidin so what happened this valinomycin is present that will allow passage of potassium and decrease the net positive charge on the outside of inner mitochondrial membrane so there is a more hydrogen ion concentration in intermembrane space of mitochondria and that is helping to generate protein motive force but that will be decreased protein motive force will be dispersed if there is a valinomycin molecule is present because it is allowing passage of potassium and decrease the net positive charge on the outside of inner mitochondrial membrane so that is importance of the ionophores apart from that uncoupler of this oxidative phosphorylation they will allow oxidation to proceed in this oxidative phosphorylation but the energy instead of being trapped by phosphorylation is dissipated as a heat so that is a drawback of this oxidative phosphorylation but this drawback as it is dissipated as a heat so sometime it is advantage for the some particular cell or some particular condition so this is achieved by the removal of proton gradient so oxidative phosphorylation will allow proton gradient will be generated but whatever this proton gradient is generated that is dissipated or it is removed sometime this uncoupling is helpful biologically or advantage of that uncoupling will be taken so the liberation of heat energy is required to maintain body temperature so in brown adipose tissue thermogenesis is achieved by this process of uncoupling and that is important reaction occurring in a young child so this uncoupler that is physiological and non-physiological or the chemical so uncoupler which are chemical that is dnp dinitrophenol dnc dinitrocrisol and one more that is cccp that is chlorocarbonyl cyanide phenyl hydrazone you can see that cccph chlorocarbonyl cyanide phenyl hydrazone so these three are the particular uncoupler they are the chemical physiological uncoupler that is most important that is frequently asked in the viva as well as mcq so thermogenin a protein present in a inner mitochondrial membrane of adipocyte which are present in adipose tissue provide 
an alternate pathway for the proton so this thermogenin is very important for the generating heat particularly in the young child so it is one of the uncoupling protein so ucp short form so another one uncoupler that is physiological thyroxine is also known to act as a physiological uncoupler and thyroxine which is one of the important thyroid hormone which have also important physiological function to maintain our body temperature so how this thyroxine hormone is maintaining body temperature so one of the mechanism that is oxidative phosphorylation which is uncoupled and heat is generated and maintain the body temperature so again the summary of that particular inhibitor of electron transport chain as well as atp synthesis first here that complex 1 2 3 4 is explained so first complex 1 that is inhibited by the mo barbitol and rotenone complex 2 in a two category first malonate that is able to inhibit succinate dehydrogenase enzyme second carboxyl that is able to inhibit complex 2 to the coenzyme q inhibitor complex 3 that is inhibited by the pretty saint lewisite and antimycin complex 4 that is inhibited by the simple you can remember hcc hydrogen sulfide carbon monoxide cyanide and one more that is azide so that all are the site specific inhibitor now one more that is physiological and non-physiological uncoupler physiological uncoupler you have to remember thermogenin and thyroxine hormone while there is a chemical uncoupler like dnp and dnc that is dinitrophenol dinitrocresol as well as cccp they are the chemical uncoupler while one more that is particular oligomycin they are particular inhibitor of the complex 5 so complex 5 in that fo portion that is inhibited by this oligomycin so that is all inhibitor of the electron transport chain so apart from that some specific inhibitor of etc that is also you have to remember that doxorubicin that is also one type of anti-cancer drug which is cardiotoxic in nature inactivate cytochrome oxidase affects ion pumps and inhibit atp synthesis increase free radical mitochondrial damage so that doxorubicin when it is given that is free radical mitochondrial damage is occurring and this particularly affecting heart tissue so sometime when this dose of doxorubicin is not controlled and excessive effect of this drug that can lead to the heart failure we have already seen that cyanide that is also inhibiting same the cytochrome oxidase enzyme one more that is cassava so that is a one type of a cyanogen so improper processing of this type of molecule lead to the toxicity and generating hcn hydrogen cyanide is released from it by this beta glucosidases as well as sometime intestinal bacteria that is able to generate hydrogen cyanide when this molecule cassava is present in the some particular plants so these cyanoglycosides like amyl gladin may also be found in some almonds apricots peaches plums cherries sorghum soybean and bamboo shoots so these cyanoglycosides like amyl gladin that is present in some particular plant and that is able to generate hydrogen cyanide and when this hydrogen cyanide that is definitely inhibiting the cytochrome oxidase and that can also able to inhibit atp synthesis so that all are the important inhibitor of electron transport electron transport chain as well as inhibitor of oxidative phosphorylation and uncoupler which are able to inhibit atp synthesis